these five pairs, you need to add them in your watch list because they are very, very, uh, they are very, very good uh, in the monthly, in the weekly, in the daily, they are very clear. And I hope if you can only focus your eyes on these pairs, at least you won't make so many mistakes. And because I've already done a video on the six pairs that you should avoid, I find it, it is good also to do on the five pairs that you should be thinking to trade. Some have given confirmation, others have not. So let's discuss about these pairs and then you add them on your watch list. So hi guys, my name is Esther Morfrey. If you don't know me, I'm a Forex to, um, trainer. I train Forex and welcome to this space. Let us learn today lesson C. So the first pair, um, the first pair that I want us to discuss is NSD card. So I have these pairs, let me just write them here. So we have NSD card, we have NSD USD, so you can screenshot, we have Euro AUD, we have Euro CHF, and we have GBP USD. If only you can focus on these pairs, like most, uh, most the, the trades you want to swing mostly, you focus on these pairs, and then the rest of the pairs, maybe you do like scalping, you will notice a difference. So today we will, right at this moment, we'll start with an NSD card, and then I'll do NSD, USD, Euro, Audi. For Euro CHF and GBP USD, I have already done a detailed video because they had already given an opportunity to for a buy. So I'll just mention what is happening with the trade, and then we get down. Um, to wait for us to make money. So NSD card, NSD card. So with me here, I have NSD card and you know, every time you want to do analysis. So we are doing like a top down analysis of NSD card to really understand what are we up to. So let's first go to monthly time frame. So when you go to monthly time frame, this is what we have on the monthly time frame. So the market has found a very strong um the market has found a very strong support area you can see that as support area and how many candles have how many months one two three four four months the market has been uh has been consolidating or ranging on one area and now the previous candle if you want to do a price action it is a pin bar if you understand how PINBA, what PINBA indicates, it indicates that the market is preparing to go on an upward market, on an upward side. So this one, the sellers are literally not able to still keep pushing this market down. So at least you have an idea of one, sellers have no more power for the last four months. And the second, we have the price action, is, which is a PINBA. And a PINBA, like I've said, it indicates that buyers have momentum. So when we go to weekly time frame, so from the monthly time frame, you already know that I'm not looking to sell, I'm looking to buy. So when we go to the monthly uh, weekly time frame, when I go to weekly time frame, so what I get, I get a BWA confirmation, which confirms that buyers are, are in control. So here we have BWA. And I keep telling people that BWA is for paid students. I have a paid mentorship program, which I charge $400. Once you buy the course or once, or once you come for a physical class, I will teach you about this strategy. It is BWA. For, for my student, already they are in, they are trading by NSD card because according to BWA strategy, it has confirmed and already we are in on this market. So, Weekly, not much, I can say, but I can tell you for sure that the market is uh, this week, they will come the week, the coming week, they will be breaking this uh, resistance that was here for so long. For how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven weeks, the market has not able to break out of this resistance. So this week and tomorrow is Friday. So if the candle, a weekly candle closes like this, it even shows you that buyers are ready to push. And the next challenge will be 
this resistance. So that is how you can see for sure that buyers are very, very strong. If we check the previous weekly candle, of course, it's a momentum candle. Though it has a week, it's a momentum candle still showing and indicating that we have a buy movement. So because of BWA and SD card, it's a buy on the weekly time frame. So let's go to daily time frame and try to understand what is happening. So in this area, in this area, uh, if you can notice, if you can notice uh, on your side, we have a, a support zone extending to this area. And that support area, this is what happens. Uh, it has created a double bottom. And like I said, the first 10 lesson, I will really focus on the double bottom so that by the time you're ending the 10 lessons, you, you are aware of double bottoms. And I don't know why double bottoms tends to happen so often. Double bottom tends to happen so often. So from the daily perspective, all of us here, we, are, we know how to work a double bottom. And that's the reason, guys, I'm saying an SD card, you should trade it all through. Like these pips are for you to partake. So we have a double bottom. If I flip my weekly time frame to look at that double bottom, can you see we have a double bottom? We do not have a double bottom. Anytime a double bottom does not appear on the next time frame, it is a very, very powerful double bottom. So by the end of the day, even on the week, imagine this double bottom that is on the daily, it is not even on the weekly. Can you see? It is now nowhere on the weekly. So. By the time you are trying to say, oh, LSD card, I don't know what to do. The double bottom on the daily has given you the ticket, has given you the ticket. So what do I mean? Uh, and I think I'll do a detailed video. When I mean on the weekly and monthly, the double bottom is not there. You might find a double bottom that is very visible on one time frame. Let's say the market has a double bottom and then comes and then again has the second double bottom, uh, you need to understand what makes a double bottom is a red candle followed by a green because a double bottom happens at a, a support area. So here you might find, oops, that's big. You might find that we had a red candle then followed by a green candle. I want to show you what I mean when I say on the other time frame there is no double bottom followed by let's say a green candle and that's what is giving us our first attempt so many times because now we have our support area which is making our first bottom many times when you go to higher time frame this red candle is not there it is green green so and that's what has happened here we have a red candle followed by green making this area have a support area. But when you go to weekly time frame, when I go to weekly time frame, guess what? The same zone that we are seeing a red candle, it is green green. Why is it so? It's because when this candle was forming, when we were getting formation of uh, red green, I want to show you what had happened. So when we were getting a red candle, when you are getting red candle. So it was, it was, it started Monday, a green candle, Tuesday red, Wednesday red. Then on Thursday, a Thursday is a green candle, and then on Friday, a green candle. So these two candles are absorbed, absorbed in that weekly candle. So on the weekly candle, you will not see any support. Anytime you spot such double bottom, just know they are going to give you money so this is a double bottom that is nowhere in in the weekly it is not there in the monthly so why would you not have confidence trading nsd card and that's what i'm saying we are trading nsd card all the way as long as it gives us an entry um a confirmation so but looking at if it has rbs it has rbs in fact it has so many rbs but the fact that it has RBS, it is enough for us to know that this market is headed to the neckline. Not only half, but it will go even to the neckline. That's how serious this double bottom is. And that's what I'm saying. NSD card is appear to trade the whole of this month. 
because you'll be trading in and out, in and out. You take small profits, then you come back in. So here we have um we here we have an NSD card, a double bottom on NSD card, very clear. And where was our entry? That's why I tell people to be patient. Our entry was here. We got a green candle and then you put a box on that green candle. And then it did what? It did WBB. Can you see? It did WBB. So in fact, our entry level was around this area. This was the first entry level. Can you see? So that was the first entry level. So anyone who has entered this trade, they are still in profit. So anyone who entered with that WBB, because you need to understand any double bottom on daily, weekly, or monthly will use which strategy? WBB. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. NSD card will do what? It is a very easy uh, trade to enter. So the market has broken out of this area. You can see the market has broken out of this area. And not only has it broken out of that area, it has it had formed a small double bottom, a double top. So this small double top you are seeing, because there is the breakout, it's remaining few minutes for the candle to close. Because it has breakout, it has given us a new pattern, which we call, we call this pattern what? We call this pattern a cup and handle. So we have a new cup and handle that has been formed. So uh, what you will notice is that, yes, we have a double bottom, but we still have small, small, patterns here and there. So we have a cup and handle. So what I'm trying to tell you is that this market is going that distance. Yes, we know it is going half, but they are completing that cup and handle. And completing that cup and handle, that is the area. So the way we trade cup and handle, we take two take profits, one at the half, the other one at the the other one at the, the end of the zone. So that's that's basically what you need to understand. This market has given us an entry, has confirmed, what are you waiting for? So the first take profit, if you're watching me, the first take profit should be where? 67 pips, 82.41. The next take profit should be at 80, 83. That is 0 0.8330, that's 156. And that's how you should trade NSD card. Even if you go to lower time frame to look, if you have, if still buyers are supporting you, it is evidence that buyers are in support of you. So don't mind of these zones, all these zones, you will never trade if you think that the market will react on this zone. Just be focused to target up to, 8240 that's your focus target up to, to 8240 don't mind of the zones as much as long as the market has break out broke out of this cup and handle and as much as this double bottom is only on the daily it will eventually hit the half so guys i hope that is clear on S nsd card let's do nsd usd nsd usd will still go to the monthly time frame NSD, SD, we'll do it quickly. We'll go to the monthly time frame. The best thing that I'm loving the monthly time frame is because our strategy BWA has confirmed on the monthly. If you're my student, you need to be trading NSD card by long term. Why? Because already monthly has confirmed a BWA. And once B BWA is confirmed, it is a sure bet. You see those uh, strategies that are sure bet. This one is a sure bet. BWA is confirmed on the monthly. So let's continue because there is a strategy for you guys. So when you come to when we come to weekly time frame, there is nothing much we are getting rather than this uh, resistance that failed to break and the market being at this position. Like it's like it is ranging. So there's nothing much you're being told on the weekly. But when you go to the daily time frame, something has happened. Let me show you. You, you see NSD card and NSD USD, they move together. 
So NSD card and NSDSD both have a double bottom. Both have double bottom. And these double bottom are not available in both time frames. They are not available on the weekly and they are not available on the monthly. What it means is that these double bottom are very powerful and they will do exactly what they have said they'll do. So when we measure, we want to see where is our half. We just want to know where is the half of this market. You can see that is the half, guys. So this market, when we check on the half, it has RBS, meaning this market has to come up to 61.85 and it is at 59. So those are, are how many pips? More than like 200 pips. And it has RBS and we need to understand that yes, it has RBS, it is a double bottom, it gave us entry, they tried, they attempted to come and create a double top, but the market still has gone up because of the power of this double bottom is very, very powerful. So what has happened, the market has again created a small double bottom. You can see this small double bottom, the market has created a small double bottom. So with this small double bottom, you will know who is in control. Is it sellers or is it buyers? So what we need to understand is that if half is broken, buyers have shown that they are in control. So when we measure and half is broken, guess what? NSD, SD, you're supposed to be in buying and your TP should be at 60.49. So it is at the neckline. So that's where your TP is. So if you're buying right now, if you buy right now, the take profit will be around 83 pips. So that is a, an evidence of this market will still continue to buy. And that's what I'm saying. Pay attention on these pairs because they will give you a lot of money. And mind you, the market is coming to this direction. All that, like 250 pips. Let's go to Euro Audi. Let's go to Euro Audi quickly. So for Euro Audi, we'll still do again monthly time frame. So when we go to monthly time frame, uh, Euro Audi is very interesting. Why? Because it has this double double top that never confirmed an entry. So on the monthly time frame, we were left hanging. We were waiting for this double top, and at least it engulfs, and at least it engulfs the the green candle but it didn't engulf the green candle. So we are waiting at least the market to engulf. It failed to engulf. So we can't say that our entry is from monthly, no. So where the market is at the weekly time frame, you can see the trouble of the problem that is happening. You can't tell what is happening. So let's go to the daily time frame. So what has happened on the daily time frame? We have a pattern and that's why I said double bottoms are used so many times. So Euro Audi, it has a double bottom. This double bottom can do two things, and I want to mark it very carefully. Euro Audi, it is not yet confirmed if you will buy or you will sell, because at where we stand, the double bottom can do anything. You already know by now a double bottom you can buy to get a complete double bottom, or you can sell to get a what? A cap and handle, inverted cap and handle. And that's the situation we have with Euro Audi. So I want you to follow step by step what I'm doing. Pause the video and then take out your laptop. Don't watch this tutorial like you're watching television. This is an education you're coming here to learn. So there is something that can happen here. Euro Audi can either break and continue to the neckline or they can break the bottom and continue downside. Because if that happens, it will be a inverted cup and handle. So this market can give us an inverted cup and handle, or it can continue with the double top. So for me, I will be paying attention to see what is the market be doing here, because it is nearing half. So what is it doing? And that's why I have put it into the list. Because again, you need something to keep checking every single day. 
it makes trading enjoyable. Something that you, oh, by the way, Kando has it closed. Let me check. That's what makes trading live. That's what has made us trade because we are anticipating. We have a desire to see something happen. So what I'm trying to say is that Euro Audi, there's that potential. And the potential is that the market can either sell as an inverted cap and handle or it can buy and complete that double top, double bottom. So Euro Audi is one of the target pairs for this month because it's only one week and the market has started to move. You can imagine in the month by the time the month is ending. So Euro Audi, that's what for me, I believe. So if they break the neckline, the market will continue. So understand the Euro Audi, I'm not biased. I'm not like saying it to buy or sell. I'm saying let us wait so that we can get the direction. Uh, we have we have GBPUSD. GBPUSD, let me tell you, on the daily time frame, this is GBPUSD. It has a double bottom that is nowhere. And the time that a double bottom is not available in any other time frame, it is very, very good. Why? Because the market will eventually buy without being like um, getting hindrances. So I told you on the other video that GBPUSD will buy up to 25. So right now it's at 21. It's almost getting in 22. So to 25 is like 300 pips. So if you buy right now, um, if you buy right now GBPUSD, you are getting 388 pips. So if which which um strategy do we use? You can use WBB, uh, wait for green candle, check if it's engulf. This one engulf the red one, and still the the market, the buyers have pushed even higher. So this is to show you that buyers are so they have momentum. So if you're not trading GBPUSD, I don't know what you're waiting for because I already analyzed this. GBPUSD has a double bottom on daily and that's why we are buying it. The last but not least is Euro CHF. Euro CHF, you should be buying. You should have, you should be on this trade because from the monthly perspective, already we have um, a buy signal. So we have this double bottom. If you can notice, most of the signals confirmation are coming from the double bottom. So double bottom is a very, very powerful pattern. So Euro CHF again, you can see we are waiting for it to hit half and half is 97.68. So we, we are hoping that the market will go to that place. How many pips are those if you enter today? 154 pips. So Euro CHF has a double bottom. You can imagine, this is crazy. NSD card has a double bottom. NSDSD has a double bottom. Euro Audi has a double bottom. Euro CHF has a double bottom. GBPUSD has a double bottom. That is crazy. Because I'm not forcing, I didn't choose, oh, to see the double bottom. It is there and it is visible. So guys, those are the pairs that you should pay attention this month of October. If I'm helping you, comment down below. Say, tell me, ask me any question, ask me any pair that you would want me to analyze so that I will be mixing most of your questions. I will create videos answering and then we can continue with our lessons. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, share, like the video, and see you to the see you in the next lesson seven. Bye-bye. Love.